Hi you guys, I hope everybody is doing well today. Today is August 18th, sorry, August 19th of 2023. And I have a word that I received on August 18th of 2023 um, that I'm gonna share with you today. So um, I got this word yesterday um, on the 18th at 5.50 a.m. And um, I'm gonna pray really quick and I will share this word with you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for another day to honor you and glorify your holy name. Father, I ask that you would just bless your people today, Father God, fill them up with you. Fill them up, let them come to you, Father God. Let them come boldly before your throne and receive all that you have for them, Father God. I ask that you fill them with your peace and your joy, God. I ask that you fill them with your grace, Father, to do all that you um, are asking them to do in this season, in this hour, Father God. I ask that um, we become more bold for you, Father God, and that you would just give us courage, Father God, the courage um, to do all that you want us to do, Father God. Help us um, to speak up, Father God, more and more, and to shout what you are asking us to, to shout, Father God. I ask um, that you just fill us with your joy. Um, the joy of the Lord is our strength, and so I ask that you fill us with your joy and your peace during this um, season ahead, Father God today and every day moving forward. In Jesus' name, we love you. We glorify your holy name. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy um, of all the honor and all the glory. In Jesus' name, we love you, Lord. Amen. Okay, so um, this is what the Lord said to me yesterday morning as I was praying, you know, spending, just spending time in prayer and, and, and worship and um, just um, praying in the spirit and this is what the Lord said he said I love my children I care for my own those that love me I call mine I protect those that are mine I warn my children of things that are up ahead I give wisdom to all that will seek me and and ask I will never turn a blind eye nor nor close my eye or, nor close my ears to those who come to me I am always with you and will never turn away I see and know all things I see and know every thought of every man, for I created each one. Yes, the great I am made man for me, says the Lord. When I created the earth and filled it with mankind, I never intended it for to be filled and consumed by evil. This was not my plan for you, says the Lord. And now it is time for me to fix some things that the enemy has used for centuries to inflict, enslave, destroy, and kill my people with things you never would have imagined that are harming you. These things are coming down, says the Lord of hosts. There is a war, a battle going on right now in the heavenlies to destroy the evil that has taken root into the soil into the soil in the land which I created to be good. As the battle is being won by my fierce army, you will begin to see the systems that have been built for wicked purposes begin to crumble before your very eyes. This will bring about change, a great change in all, um, in all that you know to be true and real. A great change in all, um, it was all in bold. So a great change in all that you know to be true and real. If you only knew what has been done to you for, for so long to keep you bound and enslaved. Well, I tell you this day, it will indeed be revealed to all the nations of the world, how they, the enemies of Almighty God, those who have chosen to listen and obey the fallen one, have done to humanity. Not just some of it, no, I say, this is all in bold, no, I say all will be known and brought to the light, says the Lord of hosts. As I decapitate all their evil, wicked plans and agendas, you, my children, will receive in return blessings and, and my abundant favor in every part of your lives. I am dissolving every system that has been used against you, and all will know I am, this is all in bold as well, I am a just and loving God. Hallelujah. Farmer, farm, pharma, big pharma, watch out. I'm coming for you, says the Lord. You will not get away with what you have done to my creation. My creation that I made, this is all in bold, this whole paragraph. Um, 
my creation that I made in my own image, says Almighty God. My just justice will be your end. You are finished. I say it again. You are finished, says the Lord. My children, I want you to ask me in faith to restore all that has been stolen from you. Start with your heart. Whatever is hurting or broken in your heart, ask me for healing and restoration and it will be yours. Your mind, children, tell me what's on your mind and ask me to help redirect your thinking on the things that are only pure, good, and not of evil. And I will help you to fix your minds on the things above. Good, good thoughts. My children, your health and your physical bodies, ask me in Jesus' name to heal and restore all that the enemy has done done to your physical bodies and receive it today says the lord of hosts your finances yes ask me to bless you so you can be a blessing to others and watch what i will do for you i told you all systems are changing and what the enemy has used against you for so long i will flip it that's all in bold i will flip it and turn it around to bless and restore my people says the lord these are the days of the great exodus that I have talked about to many of my people, my prophets, my voices in, in the land in this very hour. During this transformation from dark to light, from evil to righteousness and good, the tearing down of all that has, been, that has stood in your way from being all that I created you to be will look a little messy for a short time. I must clean up and clean out the filth in the land, says the Lord. As this cleaning up of the old system, systems to the new, I am requiring you, um, I am requiring you to keep your eyes on me, says the Lord. Keep your eyes focused on your supernatural God and keep your hearts filled up with my love and faith in all that I said I will do for you. Don't look at the things in the natural and get into doubt and fear. No, stay in me and in my word and remember who I am. I am, this is all in bold, I am a supernatural God full of miracle signs and wonders. Abundance, abundance, abundance. I lack nothing. My kingdom is in need of nothing. There is more than enough in me, says the Lord. And you, can, and you, my children, are a part of my kingdom, which means you have more than enough. You will have everything, this is all in bold, you will have everything you need and more as I bring my reformation to the land. I say it again, my children, this is in bold as well, do not look to the natural. Um, do not look to the natural for these are the days for my supernatural for me to be put on display for the world to see so fear not the days ahead as these are the days of my great glory these are the days of my great kingdom coming to earth says the Lord your God maker of heaven and earth and the name of my glorious son Jesus Yeshua the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. And then I heard shortly after that, I heard rejoice and praise me as I bring down the old and bring in the new. I am setting you free, says the Lord. Hallelujah. So thank you, Father, for that word. So wonderful he is to give us these words and to bless us with just these words. I mean, I am just every time I receive a word, I'm just in awe. And, and I sometimes don't even go back and read it right, right away. And, um, but anyway, praise God, praise God for this word. And, um, so this morning, actually, as I was in prayer, the Holy Spirit really fell on me. And I just was, I was basically in just tears. I mean, I, I was weeping. I wept. For quite a while and just over the brokenness not just in the world but in the body of Christ and there's so many that are hurting and that are 
battle weary and tired and worn out and um and then just all those i mean my heart was just for for the souls of man i mean just i was crying i was weeping for the souls of man um and just you know just you see it i mean just just in my own family i literally there's a lot going on you know i mean nobody's life is perfect and just in my own family you know i look and see and hear things and just and and things that are going on i mean my expanded family as well um you know and i just it's it's sad it it hurts you know and so i was i, I was in prayer and then as i got up i heard the holy spirit say read because i was just a mess i was a mess <laughs> i was just like you know i was crying out for justice as well and just you know just that god would just you know um come and do what he says he's gonna do you know and i know he is and so um but sometimes you know we do we just get overwhelmed overwhelmed with just what's going on in the world and seeing god said he has warned us of things that are going to come and the darkness that we would see and to make sure we have our eyes fixed on him not just i mean because an anger will come upon us as well and 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 a righteous anger is good we are supposed to have a righteous indignation about what is going on and we fight it we fight that with with um with prayer you know we fight that in the spirit we use that righteous anger we use that anger we don't use it toward man and that's where it's hard is we have to make sure our hearts are pure before the Lord. Even with man, we don't fight against men and women in the earth that are doing what they're doing. It's a spirit behind it that we have to fight. So we have to remember this. When we're seeing what's going on in the earth and what's going on in the government, which also, I'm going to share this really quick because when I got the big pharma thing, I was like, you know, it just... You know, I, I was I was in prayer about, um, you know, I was I was praying about all kinds of stuff yesterday when I got this word, and you know, and then of course I was praying in spirit, and I don't know what I'm saying in the spirit, um, but then I get this this prophetic word, but um, just it's pretty bad. I mean, it's it's what is going on in this earth, and God says He says in this word right here He says. Everything that we know to be true and real. Everything that we know to be true and real is not true and real. And so, um, and he's going to put it all on display. And everything that we know to be true and real will be exposed. It's not what it, it looks like. It's just not. And so, I don't know. We just need to, we need to fight in the spirit. We need to not focus on the people that are behind it. We need to focus on the spirit that is behind it. It's like God said, there's a, there's a war going on in the heavenlies. There's a war going on in the heavenlies. And there's evil spirits that are attached to these wicked, evil people. And yes, justice is going to come to them because they've chosen. They've chosen. They've been warned. They've chosen to continue what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know that they chose to serve the enemy. They know right from wrong for crying out loud. <laughs> How could you not? Right? So yes, judgment is coming, but we can't take our anger. We have to have pure, clean hearts before the Lord. That's my point. Use it in, in, in prayer. Use that in prayer. Use that righteous that righteous anger and prayer and go to God with it and pray in the spirit and war in the spirit against it. That's what we do. We, we fight. We're not fighting against flesh and blood. It's against principalities and rulers of the dark of the, you know, okay. So that, so Ephesians six, but, um, I just wanted to share 
also that as I was talking to the Lord yesterday, um, I was talking about a certain drug that's being distributed throughout the world, throughout the United States of America, especially. You see it on like every freaking street corner. I'm just saying. And a lot of our family members as well are addicted to it. And I'm not saying anything about addiction. I come from a very long road of addiction. I'm not saying that. But when I was talking to the Lord about it, about this drug, I'm not going to mention it. I'm just not going to go there. But I was talking to him about it. And I said, they're making it here in the U.S.? I said, they're making it here in the U.S.? And he said, yes. He said, yes, with your tax dollars. They, this is exactly the words of the Lord. Yes, with your tax dollars, they are murdering, murdering, murdering your children. My children. Um, and he said, it's not coming. And, and basically, I, I wrote down, it's not coming from across the border. So now you use your imagination. You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, it's being made here in the United States of America. I mean, I got that from the Holy Spirit. Just saying. So, there's a whole lot that is about to be exposed. This will come out as well. But I'm just saying, we need to be in prayer. We need to be in prayer. We need to be fighting against what is going on. Our job as children of Almighty God are to hear what the Spirit is saying, which is the word I just gave you. That's the Holy Spirit speaking. Okay? And then we pray about it. We pray into it. We pray about it. We take it to the Father. We, and you know, sometimes he'll give us things to say and things to shout and we do what he's saying to do. That's what we, that's our job. And we pray against all the evil and wicked and the powers of darkness and all that. We pray against it and we pray for justice and for righteousness and for the kingdom of heaven to fill this earth and for the glory of God to consume, you know, the earth. And we you know, and, and of course, pray for protection and all, all that. But in war, we pray against, you know, um, and we dispatch the hosts. We call on the host, dispatch them to war with us and to fight with us. And, you know, and that's all I really have for you guys today. Um, but anyway, what I was, what, this morning when I was in that, um, in that, that weeping, state where the Holy Spirit just really was using, you know, intercession. I was interceding um, for for humanity, really, for the lost, for the body of Christ, for all of us, because we are in a tough season that God told us it was going to be tough. We're all, you know, it, it's, if you have a heart, <laughs> it's going to hurt what we see going on. It's going to hurt. The heart and that's why he's saying also in this word bring your heart to me talk to me about it tell me what's on your mind help let, let me help you bring it to me in prayer let's work on it together you know he'll help heal our hearts he'll help protect our hearts if we ask he's saying come to me ask me I love my children I'll take care of you and I will help you but come to me and trust me that I will expect it that is what God wants. He wants us to have a faith in him, a faith that no matter what we do, no matter what we've done in our past, no matter what's going on in our life right now, today, that he is our dad. He's our father in heaven and he loves us. He created us to have a relationship with him, with him. We take everything to him in prayer. He's not mad at you. He's not, he's not looking down on you saying, oh, you're a bad girl. You're a bad boy. That is what the world is saying. That is what religion is saying. That is not what God is saying. People have God all wrong. He's not that kind of father. He's a loving father. Just like you love your children, that is God. He's your creator. He created you. He knows everything, every intricate little piece of your body, everything that's going on in your mind, everything. Take it to him in prayer. Go to him. Prayer is not like prayer. Like prayer is a relationship. It's talking to, to your father, talking to the Lord Jesus. 
talking. That's all prayer is. If you want to say, you know, I'm in, I'm in prayer all day. If you want to say that, or, you know, just, just a, 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 a talking relationship. I talk to the Lord all day long about everything. Everything. Every piece of my life. I talk to him about it. Because I know he's there to listen. Sometimes I feel like he's the only one who wants to listen. <laughs> just saying, or he's the only one who will listen. So guess what? I talk to him about everything. And sometimes I tell him that. Thank you for listening to me because nobody else wants to listen. Nobody else wants to hear what I have to say. You know, um, not you guys, of course, you wouldn't hear what I have to say, right? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Okay, but not really. Okay, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. But, and I really do, I love you guys so much. <laughs> you guys are my awesome family. But anyway, so I got this, I need to turn on this light here. Just stand up. Turn on my little light. Um, but the, the Holy Spirit told me to read Psalm 34 this morning, okay? So I'm going to read Psalm 34 to you guys. And, and just, it'll lift up your spirits a little bit as to what we're going through. Cause we are in a battle. We're in a war. That's what, that's what we're in right now. We're in a spiritual war. It's a spiritual war against the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. There is a word that, that like the clash of the Titans, the clash, you know, there's a crash. There's, there's like this, um, head on collision that was a word that I received about I don't know, nine months ago or something that we were a head on collision was coming. And, um, and that's where we're at, you know, that's where we're at. But anyway, so the Lord says, or the Lord says, um, well, yeah, the Lord says, this is his word. So, um, this is Psalm 34 and it, it says, I will praise the Lord no matter what happens. I will constantly speak of his glorious, of his glories and grace. I will boast of all of his kindness to me let all who are discouraged take heart let all let us praise the Lord together and exalt his name for I cried to him and he answered me he freed me from all my fears others too were radiant at what he did for them theirs was no downcast theirs was no downcast look of rejection this poor man cried to the Lord, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of his troubles. For the angel of the Lord guards and rescues all who reverence him. Oh, put God to the test and see how kind he is. See for yourself the way his mercies shower down on all who trust in him. If you belong to the Lord, reverence him for everyone who does this has everything he needs even strong <clears throat> even strong young lions sometimes go hungry but those of us who reverence the Lord will never lack any good thing what did he say in the, the prophetic word that his kingdom lacks nothing and that means we lack nothing right um, so those who reverence the Lord will never lack any good thing sons and daughters come and listen to come and listen and let me teach you the importance of trusting and fearing the Lord now fearing the Lord does not mean you're scared of him it means that you're reverencing him that you reverence what he you know you're just the fear of the Lord is is doesn't mean that he's coming down with a hammer you know and his his gavel and he's gonna hit you over the head no that's not fear of the Lord he doesn't want you to be scared of him you know that's it's yes we reverence him we want to honor him in everything we do and of course like I don't ever want to disappoint him and what I do and what I think even my thoughts it's like so anyway just I just want to clarify that when it says the fear of the Lord it doesn't mean that you're scared to death of him and like you're you know that he's like this mean dad in heaven you know sitting on his throne like waiting for you to mess up no <laughs> that's not who he is people that's what religion says he is. No, he's not that God. He's not. I'm telling you. Trust me. I know because I've messed up and messed up and messed up and messed up and messed up. And he's always right there loving me. Even in all my mess ups. Even all my screw ups. He pours out his love on me. And loves me through it. Okay? So just know that. I know from experience. Trust me. Trust me. Um, okay, where was I? Um... 
Sons and daughters, come and listen and let me teach you the importance of trusting, trusting and fearing the Lord, reverencing the Lord. Do you want a long good life? Then watch your tongue, keep your lips from lying, turn from all known sin and spend your time in doing good. Yes, we, that's a given. We're supposed to always want to do that. Try to live in peace with everyone and work hard at it. We should always want to live in peace with everyone, even our enemies. Yes, we pray for them, even though it sucks sometimes. We have to pray for our enemies. All right, for the eyes of the Lord are intently watching all who live good lives and gives attention when they cry to him. But the Lord has made up his mind to wipe out even the memory of evil men from the earth. Hallelujah. Yes, the Lord hears the good man when he calls to him for help and saves him out of all of his troubles. The Lord is close to those whose hearts are breaking. He rescues those who are humbly sorry for their sins. The good man does not escape all troubles. He has them too. Yes, we have the troubles. Like I said, we all have troubles in our lives, but the Lord helps him in each and every one. The Lord helps him in each and every one. God even protects him from accidents. Hallelujah. Calamity will surely overtake the wicked. Heavy penalties are, are meted out to those who hate the good. But as for those who serve the Lord, he will redeem them. Everyone who takes refuge in him will be freely pardoned. Hallelujah. So as, like I said this morning, as I was, I was, my heart was breaking. It just, that's what it felt like. My felt like my heart was just breaking for, for people and just what's going on in the world and what we're going through um not just the body of christ but just the people that are lost that don't know christ that don't have jesus just, that don't know him that are that are out there in the world without knowing the love of jesus the love of christ and what he did for them and what he's done for all of us so that we could go boldly to the throne of god so that we could come and have that relationship with the father our creator that's why Jesus died so that when we do mess up that we could come quickly and say Lord forgive me I messed up forgive me I'm sorry and boom your sin is gone and it says it right there he washes away our sins he removes them but we have to have that open relationship with him you know and and talk to him about it and just be like you know what I messed up and I'm sorry, forgive me, Lord. And it's done, you're forgiven. And it, your, your slate is washed clean and you move on. And you, you know, and you just try to do good. You try to do your best for the Lord. That's what we do, we try to do our best. And he honors that. He honors that we're trying, he knows our hearts. Remember that, he looks at the heart of man, not the outside, not the outside. He looks at the heart, the heart of man. He wants, he wants us to have a relationship with him, period. He wants us to love him, period. He wants your love more than he wants your sacrifice and your offerings. He wants a relationship with you more than anything else. He made us to have a relationship with him. And so with that, I'm going to go. But I love you guys. I hope this blessed you. And just remember, we are living in, you know, like, like God said, he's going to clean up some stuff. And it's going to look a little messy. You know, and it already is, you know, it's, it's already looking messy. You know, we're seeing stuff and we're, and he, and he says that, you know, there's so many words that he, there's, there's shaking that's, that's happening. It's already starting and we're seeing it and we're feeling it. And that's what he says, come to me. Like after I, after, you know, I spent that time, I was refreshed. Like I, I was crying and I was weeping and everything, but then I was refreshed and I was like filled with the joy. And then I just started laughing as I prayed in the spirit some more. And then I started laughing, you know, and I, not, not laughing at, you know, it was just, just being filled with the joy of the Lord because that's what he does. It was like the Holy Spirit was using me to intercede for, for humanity, for the people, you know, but then I got joy. You know, because the Lord is our strength and that's what he wants us. Because if we continue to see all this darkness and we don't go spend time with the Lord, guess what? You're going to have a heart full of anger, resentment, you know, frustration. Just your heart's going to be ugly and bitter. And we are not to have ugly, bitter hearts. 
That is not acceptable before God. Yes, a righteous indignation, a righteous anger is good. But that's when I said we that's we take it to the Lord in prayer. We don't use it towards others. <laughs> we don't use it, you know, you know, we use that to, to take to the Lord. And of course, we stand up and speak up for what is right, for, for what is right. You know, if we know that things are wrong, we speak up about it and we, we speak the truth. The truth will set us free. So God needs more voices that are speaking the truth about what's going on. Like, you know, just, just saying. Anyway, okay. I love you guys so much. Jesus loves you so much. The Father, is our, he, he's your daddy in heaven. He's your daddy. He's, you know, greater is he that lives in you than he that is in the world. Jesus lives in us. The Holy Spirit is in us. You know, it's like I got this revelation the other day. I was like, literally it was like I, I don't know I don't know exactly what I was doing but I looked in the mirror it was like the Holy Spirit was like saying look in the mirror now when you see yourself in your eyes like literally it was like like I was seeing Jesus in me like like so like when I'm rebuking and binding it's like I need to use that authority like Jesus is in me like you know use it like I'm like Jesus is literally speaking to me like I don't know. It was like this weird revelations, awesome revelation where it was just like, no, when you're speaking with authority and you're taking authority, like look in the mirror and like see Jesus, like see Jesus in your eyes. You know, I was actually looking in the mirror at the time, but he was telling me you need to speak as if Jesus is speaking through you. Like, like Jesus is in you because he is. And it's like, yes, okay, I will do that, you know? So anyway, I love you guys. Have a blessed day. And um, just know how much the Father loves you, how much Jesus loves you. You are like, you're his. If you love him, you're his. And like he said in the very beginning of the word, I love my children. I care for my own. Those that love me, I call mine. You're his. I protect those that are mine. He will protect you. And he says, I warn my children of things that are up ahead. I give wisdom to all who will seek me and ask. I will never turn a blind eye nor close my ears to those who come to me. I am always with you and will never turn away. He will never turn away from you, no matter what you've done, no matter what is going on in your life. He will never turn away from you. So know that today in Jesus' name. I love you guys. Have a super blessed day. And prayerfully, I'll be back soon.